amongst the contenders, but they're all catching Lydia Ko. They are, went out in minus one. He has in Scotland at Dunbarney Lynx last year, Dundonald Lynx. Now, watch this tee shot, 168 yards at the fourth. All but a hole in one. Another birdie for Lydia Ko. Invites from Thailand, Wishini Mishai, known to her fellow pros as Jan. Started with a three-putt bogey, but it all ended rather nicely. Yeah, deciding to lay up on this 511-yard par five. Left to right, birdie try. Very nicely done for around a 65. Par five, 200 to the front edge. I think he got the club right with this one as well. You've still got to hit the shot, though. And boy, has she hit the shots. I mean, she was getting frustrated on her front at all, but she made amends big time. Look at that for an eagle at five and leading on her own. On the 10th, so this is her final hole. Just a lob wedge into this ninth green. Bit of an eventful day, Sophie. Converts this one. But only for a 68, which I think tells the story. There's a one from Hyoju Kim. Just pitching in to this third hole and look at the spin and the control and the flag. It's at par fives on the front nine. She made birdie there at three. This was her second into the fifth hole, the 2014 Evian champion. Went it well again last week as well. So she left us to another Korean, Unhee Ji. 147 yards in six hole. She just birdied three, four, and five, and not so. This is the former world number one amateur, Lilia Vu. Got off to a slow start, only one under for her. Yeah, following up from a 65 yesterday with a 67 today. So she likes uh, two she's had today. Hitting the irons very well. Yeah, only a par at seven. Not sure what went wrong there, but she was uh, back in amongst it. Time she would take it. Five birdies in six holes. She places. She's 12 under par. Celine Boutier looked like she was going to better that easily. She sure did. Look at this into the third slip up. Good angle to this left hand side flag. Not a drop shot over the first two. However, got her own back on nine, right to left, for a round of 65. Yeah, a couple of 65s, that'll, I think, terrific season. The number one player right now on the race to Costa del Sol. Yo. Yeah, Leone Harm picking up where she left off. So a couple of birdies, two under for the front. That's for birdie on 10. And gets herself to minus eight. And there's one. Yeah, it's a long way back still. Counter being on that knuckle. Chat with Marianne Scarpnord. Another one. Yeah, she was very aware of the story, was uh, Leonie Harm. Left that one slightly open there. Back, right to left, birdie try. And that'll be the aim. So one more, she gets back to level par where she started the day. Let's try. Bogey free 68 from Ryan O'Toole. It's a lovely sound to that, wasn't it? Lovely result too. Next year, when do you have your good year? And it is a year away. Exactly. Oh, that's a beauty from uh, here, Jin Choi. I mean, what I've seen is it's just been wonderful. Plenty of loft in a hand here.
the authority to that walk. She got another. She has, you know. How about this comeback from Yejin Choi? Oh, what did I say? Let's try and get it back to level par before you make the turn. So it's just on your mind, really. You can get a flyer here, actually, because you try to hit down on it so hard, you get too much compression. <laughs> well, a flyer by a yard. Great control. Her stability of club face is exceptional. Come on, another. Another right at it. She's in the mood. Three absolute beauties into so, the tent. So how many birdies we're getting, Sophie, at ten? Minji Lee. That'll be one out of one. Takes her alongside Georgia Hall for two there, though, as well, with the flag. She's got one. <laughs> so back to where she started today, six under. Sure. But it was in between. Excellent shot from the English player. That's because these players are heading towards the coastline. Nice approach there. Well, it's been a lovely little run from Leone Harm. Have herself to nine under. Another birdie opportunity coming up at this par 5, 14th win a couple of weeks ago on the other coast here in Scotland. And Kari Webb won. Look at the line that you want to start it on. Short one on eight. No mistake there on 11. number one and she's at three under par at the moment as Minji Lee the world number two tidies up <laughs> Minji Lee come through her scholarship program Vision Choi misses out at nine One of the players on the LPG Tour this season, you just waiting for when she's going to win. She has won enough. Oh, magnificent from the defending champion. Another birdie for Andrea Lee. That's Joy from the hollow, putting through the valley on 10. Right. Missed it on the low side, so he picked up some pace as it move from left to right Scottish Open's gone up from one and a half to two million dollars this year she has a tattoo on her inside of her arm saying deep breath and I think to that the renaissance on the east coast bit of trouble off the tee so third shot for O'Toole it's another scintillating shot how are her wedges today? You know, West Coast of America. West, West Coast, Coast of Scotland. Scotland. They're very, very similar. similar. Yeah. 
It's just a very good school for golf. Doesn't matter where you... Well, that's why she uh, claims she felt a little unbeatable in... Re She's won in Korea. Five of those came in 2019. Uh, okay, that was a, an important part as a left to righter as well. Something she's been working hard on. setters when it comes to fashion well you know how it is talking about if you weren't with this is the waterproofs that she was uh, were wearing rather unique she wore a trench coat pretty much yeah she said it, it was a golf one by all accounts well it was logoed up wasn't it yeah she said it was she wasn't sure she tried it out on the range and hated it but look to be aiming at least at the flat. Well, it's fair to say not too many players from this early late wave are, are really troubling the top of the leaderboard. You look at the players in the last seven holes, got it to three under par in the end. Tough stretch coming for the players. 15 and 16 played the third and the Very much looks like she here's the Finn Sanna Newton and trying to make birdie on a tee. Yeah, a couple of 71s. We'll see you tomorrow, Sanna. Oh, that's a big few days for Sanna. She's been struggling with her game, playing back and forth over in Europe. But look at that, that little fist pump inside of the Atlantic. Andrea Lee. For par on 17, 15th last week at the Evian Championships, and going nicely this week. 97. Yeah, it's been some turnaround for her. She did fancy it's not going to move from minus one. Oh, how's that missed? Now Ryan O'Toole, not in position A, but well, she's played another brilliant <laughs> shot. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Not to be, but I think she'll be satisfied with that, Sophie. A good backup. A couple of solid days, no drop shots. Absolutely. Just down the road from here now. Nicely played. Landing spot by a good week in a major. This for a round of 69. Gets herself to minus eight inside yeah. the top ten heading to the weekend. 161. down from there though it's uh, Friday afternoon west coast of Scotland Choi will make a three 
she's done well already considering the way she started the day with that triple bogey seven no panic turned it around got herself under par just pitching into this 18th oh beautiful shot from Se Young Kim finished sixth here when they uh, last stepping into shots Six under for the day. Round of the afternoon. Two under now for Patty Tavatanaki. One at six today for Nuria Iturios. That's at nine. And a birdie, but uh, yeah. Not sure it was exuberant as the uh, celebration she would have found this weekend. Birdie for Minji Lee. So she's back up to five under. Using the marker of Georgia Hall's is a three under par for Georgia Hall. And she's nicely placed heading into the weekend. to stay patient a lot of birdie tries that had a look didn't fall but through impact about three feet of swing on this one Excellent day it's been for Tavatanik. It looked like it was going to be a fifth miss cut in a row. And instead, it's uh, a round of 66. Ten shots better than yesterday's effort. And you can see how much it means to her. It has been a struggle for her ever since that miss cut at the US Women's Open. The game is back. Tears of happiness. Well, we don't know how hard it is for these players, though. We don't see what goes on behind the scenes. We only see them most of the time when they're playing good golf. But on a Friday afternoon, see a major champion dig deep. By contrast, Hedgin Choi in her, her rookie year well, barely outside the top 20. Yet to pick off a win. Maybe that is coming this weekend. Ranked inside the top 25 of the world. This uh, young Korean is a proven winner. In